We are Mars Rover Manipal from Manipal Academy of Higher Education and we are proud to present our rover for the University Rover Challenge 2021. The focus of the mechanical subsystem this year was to develop a light and modular rover with increased attention to ease of manufacturing and assembly. We have implemented a custom six-wheel dependent suspension based on a fiber mechanism that enables the rover to climb obstacles of 0.6 meters and descend a vertical drop of 1 meter. The fiber mechanism is constrained by adjustable torsion springs which can be preloaded to provide optimal stability and ground conformability. Low pressure polyurethane balloon tires have been used to maintain low overall ground pressure while maintaining traction. A full float axle has been implemented to minimize the load on our wheel motors. The motors are fully enclosed within the wheels thus protecting them from potential obstacles. The suspension articulation enables the rover to fit inside a 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter box. The chassis comprises a compact tubular space frame structure made of aluminium alloy which provides high rigidity to weight ratio and serves as a mount for auxiliary rover modules. The 6GF articulated robotic manipulator fabricated using carbon fiber tubes features two lightweight custom linear actuators and can lift a payload of 8 kgs. The end effector comprises a bevel gear differential and a lead screw based gripper equipped with power and precision grip to accomplish the given task. A zero backlash 1 is to 40 reduction worm drive in the swivel base provides effective back drive prevention, while an old ham coupling accounts for sharp eccentricity, ensuring smooth power transmission. The electronics and control subsystem focuses on piloting the rover integrating core electronics and embedded systems. This year, CAN protocol has been implemented for all rover-based communications for efficient wire management. Multiple ARM Cortex-based STM32 microcontrollers acting as CAN nodes are responsible for precise rover control. Custom-designed PCBs have been stacked to optimally utilize limited space available inside the chassis. SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D has been used to simulate the real-time electrical wiring of the rover. The six-wheel skid steer is equipped with hill assist for ease of traversal over rugged terrains. Velocity kinematics is implemented using absolute encoders and current sensors are used at both linear actuators and the gripper to perform tasks with more intuitive control and accuracy. Two levels of safety measures have been implemented. Failsafes in the code allow the rover to remotely seize all operations and a kill switch has been provided for enabling emergency stop of the rover. A custom battery monitoring system has been interfaced with the STM to relay back the battery status. To communicate between the rover and the base station, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands are used. We have a combination of omnidirectional and directional antennas to ensure a continuous communication link with the rover. The automation and AI subsystem is divided into search, traversal and detection. A 3D LiDAR used with a stereo cam provides point cloud data. This data is used in a custom traversal algorithm which circumvents obstacles in an efficient and dynamic manner. The rover relies on an extended Kalman filter which fuses data from an RTK GPS and IMU and visual odometry for localization and immediate surroundings. A custom algorithm is used to search and traverse through the AR games. NVIDIA Jetson TX2 is used to handle all the computations on board. Gazebo was used to simulate and prototype the algorithms for the autonomous traversal mission. For the preparation of the extreme retrieval and delivery task, rover traversal has been tested at a dedicated site consisting of steep slopes, vertical drops and rocky fields. We have practiced picking up and dropping of various objects at specified locations, thereby testing the lateral and longitudinal stability of the rover, and pulling an object attached to a rope. The rover is capable of non-line-of-sight communication up to a distance of 800 meters. A custom graphical user interface reduces setup time by integrating camera feeds, GPS coordinates, and AMU value. An equipment servicing panel helped us to practice opening and closing of latches and drawers, toggling of switches, operation of a joystick, inserting a rugged memory stick into a USB slot, and tightening Allen head fasteners using a special provision on the gripper. A robotic arm is also capable of typing commands on a keyboard and inserting a cache container into a close-fitting drawer. The objective of the science team is to identify extinct or extant life in a given area by performing scientific assays and utilizing onboard sensors for environmental and geological data. This year, we have focused on detection of amino acids by inducing fluorescence. Proteins, a conclusive evidence of extant life, will be detected using Kumasi Brilliant Blue. Soil characteristics such as moisture, electrical conductivity, pH and temperature, as well as atmospheric biosignatures such as ozone and VOCs, are measured using various sensors. A multispectral sensor will be used for identification of minerals and organic compounds across the UV, VIS and IR wavelength. A computer vision based algorithm with an integrated Munsell chart will be used for detecting soil color and major constituent minerals ensuring quick and accurate inferences. A localized database will also be used to help in the identification of rocks based on their visual characteristics and biological inferences.